Good morning to you all, and this is an impromptu broadcast of Samadhi Game. Samadhi Game Live, Sunday morning, and we're just so relaxed. Yes, yeah, sleepy still. <laughs> Woke even, up at 5.55. Even having coffee know, didn't coffee. seem to help. It I seemed know. to go the other direction. Chill. It pushed us back into you know a, a lazy mood. And uh, rather than push out, we've got some projects to do outside. Yes. And it's a cool morning, and we thought we'd just do a Samadhi Game broadcast to warm everything up, to ignite your inner sparkle, which is very easy with Samadhi Game, you know. Yeah. Samadhi Game, um, uh, it saturates the mind with those, you know, concepts that say, ignite, ignite the oneness within us, ignite the love within us. And... Uh, and so we do some Adi game mantras and you get that ignition happening. And that sparkle starts to come out. And we felt like, well, we need a little sparkle this morning. <laughs> At least I feel like I uh, need some. Like a needle in the butt. <laughs> get going. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Yeah, the coffee didn't do it, but sometimes some Adi game mantras do. Yeah. And, you know, you say these mantras and these words are, you know, that, that uh, Japanese... Uh, uh, chemist who would take, you know, cross sections of electro micro, micron, micron photography of water as they were freezing. And he'd just put the name of something on the bottle of water. And then he'd, cha and he'd have the name on the bottle of water and another name on another bottle of water. And he'd see how the name the on name. the bottle of water, just the name uh, mm -hmm. pasted, not pasted, even taped mm -hmm. to the bottle mm -hmm. of water would change the mm -hmm. dimensions of the water. Yeah. And, you know, our bodies are water. And as we post these names on our, the timeline of our life. But that actually makes a, oh, come on. What about, what about labels that people wear on their t-shirts? Yeah, it happens too. Labels on t-shirts do the same thing. No, words That's, spoken. Words written. Mm-hmm. They have to be, you have to think about that. Yes. Ooh. That's true. Well, look at this. Let's look at this for a second here. Oh, this yeah. is an interesting thing. From Jamie. This is, uh... From Jamie, Jamie Lynn, thank you so much for this. Um, you spin this, and there are words, there are prayers. Is this coming from? Oh. No, no, no. This is, this was. Where was that? I don't know. But this is like a, a Tibetan prayer wheel, and inside, if you, I don't know if you can take it out. I've never. Yes. Yeah, you I can. took it out. You can take it out and un. Let me just show you. This is this is writings. This one's all. Did you Sanskrit. take it all the way out? Yeah, no. Did you, I, yeah, no, did, you, did you start? I did, but it's all the same exact words. Over and over again. But you can look at... I don't want to take it all the way out because it might, it might be hard to get back in this little, yeah. in this little pocket. But um, look at this. This is all the words of, you know, a Sanskrit prayer in Buddhist philosophy. And, um, and by, by having these words written, there's a certain energy to them. If you were to take these words and paste them to one of his bottles of water and then electro-micron photography it, then you would, he, I'm sure he would have a certain uh, mandala. Man, mandala that came out of this mantra. In the same way, the mantras that we give in Samadhi Game are words that have a certain mandala power to them. You could actually take, if you wanted to, you know, we could do is we could, you know. Put the Samadhi in here. We could put the Samadhi Game words mm -hmm. in there in a similar thing. We could make Samadhi Game prayer wheels. Yep. And, well, I mean, we uh, this one's at so beautiful. So. <laughs> Need to make money somehow on <laughs> Samadhi Game. <laughs> you can also go and donate to Samadhi Game if you ever want to. It's a charitable uh, contribution. SamadhiGame.com. Make your donations. Now. <laughs> you better. We're gonna give them a set of Ginsu knives. No, but you know what else you can do is if you want to have the same effect. I know, but then, this. Yep. Uh, well, so if you spin it, the top's yeah, yeah. gonna come off. Well, but. for some reason, it should get down better than that. But you spin it. And then that, that's like the mantra is moving through time and space. Now it's even more potent. You know, so you spin this when you go by and you, you have a little bit of an energy of the mantra in your world. Mm. You know, and it's actually a moving mantra. And Samadhi Game mantras are moving as we speak them. And what you can do is you can print out the Samadhi Game mantras and you can tape them to your shirts and your pants. And as you walk, it's, you know, as you swing your arms, you are such as you a dance, Krishna. then you, you are like moving the mantra. <laughs> it's like a Tibetan prayer wheel, except it's a Samadhi game. And it's more fun because you're dancing. And then people start giving you money because they think you're indigent. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> 
We should make Samadhi game t-shirts with the mantras on them. Okay. Let's we should do that. Do that you Why know? not? I mean, I think there's, there's got to be some place that you can go online Easy. and put in the, the... I already know how to do it. Okay, let's do some of those. Okay. So we can wear them. Okay. Let's do that today. Okay. After we get off the broadcast, okay. we'll do that. So we're going to do that. And we're also going to get an iPhone case. Oh, yeah. Water underwater. Proof, underwater. Because so we're we going to, to the Adriatic in July. Okay. Okay. Well, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move. Let's move on. Let's give. Let's get a little sparkle happening here, with uh, Samadhi game, and uh, let's give the first mantra. It's a. It's a very beautiful mantra. I have the picture of Jesus at the top of it. Um, it's called the Shadowless Side of Samadhi. It's feeling, tone, and state of knowing. There it is. Here's Jesus blessing us with his his light and joy. It can be any uh, any great saint that you'd like. O oh, glorious, shadowless light, light of eternity, eternity that, that brilliance of I am Samadhi, shining in the void as ten thousand suns, descend, 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 <laughs> as the tangible <laughs> substance of loving <laughs> splendor, dazzling intelligence and palpable power for all to absorb and identify with, as the full and only authority throughout the earth, the boundless treasure house of the universe, and our infinite I am Samadhi, of scintillating fire and dazzling light, that I am. I release the power of mastery without limit now, revealing the self and flooding forth perfect miracles and all activities, bringing to pass the enlightenment of the ages and letting every being on earth sense and surrender to the intimacy of this light. Everywhere, the fullness of this self expanding as love, wisdom, and joy forever. Now, great songs of praise and gratitude, burst forth from the heart of humanity for that silent splendor poured out to all. Now, pure love flows forth from the heart of the secret love star, drenching the earth with the glory and ecstasy of gold and pink liquid light. Now, the oneness of supreme love, wisdom, and blazing joy overwhelms this world of duality in its glowing orb of transmutation, reconciliation, and dominion, making of Terra a smiling sun of everlasting, all-powerful, limitless light, casting no shadow, and in which only that absolute perfection can forever dwell. Now, I am limitless gifts of all good things, anointing the earth with abundance, healing, and happiness for all mankind. O oh, presence of a shadowless light, from out the great silence, we identify with thee now. I am the elation and exhilaration, freedom and liberation, the eternal experience and gnosis of samadhi, its ecstatic hearing, blissful feeling, cosmic scent, sublime taste, and immaculate vision, holding all safely within that compassionate diamond heart forever. I intensify this feeling tone of I am shadowless light in acknowledgement, acceptance, and awareness, surrender, devotion, and adoration for this state of knowing that, this all-pervading I am samadhi, the intelligence of the heart that is divine illumination, I. Sensational Spring Sunday Impromptu Awareness am awake, as is the Ascended Master Jesus, to this shadowless light, its feeling, tone, and state of knowing, that I am that never sleeps and enjoys all, now and forever. You know, um, that, we were talking about it this morning as we awoke, you know, we were feeling the presence of our friend uh, Ronnie Giriji, who uh, passed away in in. September, October. Mm -mm. I was here. October. Right? Uh, you, you were here, yes. Yeah, um, no. No, I wasn't. No, no, September, you were, so she passed yeah. away in October. In October. And um, she had given uh, Robbie a, a lesson in uh, meditation. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell? The, I'm just going to turn off the, the, the uh, television so you can okay. hear this. But tell. Uh, he, she, uh, uh, Gregory was having some type of an appointment and she took me outside and. Sat, she sat on a rock, and by the way, she was dying of lung cancer or some type of cancer that she had to have her lungs and stomach fluid taken out, and she walked around with oxygen tank that she she constantly told people, carry this for me. <laughs> yeah, she did. Get rid, hold my tube. <laughs> mm -hmm. And she said, come out with me. I have to tell you something. So she sat down. She goes, isn't the... It's going to rain over there, she said. It's going to rain over there. 
But she goes, let's go sit here. So she sat on a rock, sat me in a chair. I go, no, you sit in the chair. <laughs> she says, no, I like it down here. And she says, so in order to achieve enlightenment and through meditation, you take a breath in. And just before you let it out, there's a fullness feeling and a white light. She goes, and that's what you're supposed to meditate on. And you tell more. Because that's basically what she told me. Yeah. I was more amazed that she was sitting on a rock and near past near dying and she still was giving me a chair and it rained exactly where she said it yes. was going to rain yeah after it, and you you had to rush back into the house yeah. certain, because it was it was one of those and those she had an summer oxygen, and she had an oxygen tank and knowing me I'm full of electricity I would we would have just vaporized I, I wouldn't even be surprised if you know she knew because of your presence out there that it was going to rain mm. that it was going to bring you know lightning and thunder and wind and it a did. lot of wind it did you know, we didn't um, even hard, we hardly got in the car quick enough. No, I know, I know it was quick, but uh, I, I, and as soon as we got in the car, it started raining. Yeah, literally the moment we got it, we closed and the door. Then she went like this. Came started coming down. Of course. <laughs> she knew she was really quite a saint, and I wanted to elaborate on that instruction for for meditation because it's so glorious. So we were lying in bed this morning, we were remembering this mm -hmm. this moment. And um, and the beauty of Sunday morning is that mo a lot of a lot of people are not doing their normal routines. They're taking time to rest. They're taking time to sleep a little bit longer. Or worship. Or worship. They're t they're getting ready to go to church, a service where their their hearts are released, their soul is set free in some way. Even if it's even if it's a service that isn't quite clear all the way to the top of the spectrum of enlightenment. It's a service that's giving sucrase to many people. And so it opens the heart, which will go all the way to the top of enlightenment. So, um, and there's a sense of silence. Mm -hmm. And when we, let me just turn this off too. Can you turn that light on there? Just reach over and turn that light on. Just give a little more brightness, a little bit more sparkle to the, to the view. Thank you. <laughs> and so um, when you're breathing in you breathe in all the way to the top I like to place the tongue at the top of the mouth mm -hmm. because it completes the circuit and you hold it just for a second and you feel the silence sort of rush and then as you breathe out you feel that that uh, energy uh, dis actually the breathing in going down to the bottom and as you breathe out that energy rushes to the top of the head and you hold it at the exhalation and then you breathe in again and you feel that silence and you pull the silence and that rush the bigness of the silence all the way through with the breath you pull it all the way through from the top all the way down to the bottom so that's the Tantra otherwise the, the silence remains at the still point at the end of each breath but we're trying to do with Samadhi Game, and everyone's trying to do this now on the planet, whether you know it or not, is actually trying to bring that substance of silence into manifestation. And so as we breathe, flooding the will of silence into the actual, actual activity of breath. And as you breathe out, again, that, that silence that's at the bottom of creation down here at the, the base of the, the root chakra. And any blockages in between, any tight spots in the body that are reflective of tight spots in the consciousness, tight spots in the auric field, tight spots in our life, our daily life that you feel, you can allow that silence to penetrate. And exhalation. And if you're aware, you'll see that there are spaces that you have fear or doubt, fear or desire. And as you breathe that silence through it, it dissolves. And as that dissolving takes place, you're clearing your consciousness more and more to receive and to externalize the actual silence of your being, which is always present in every moment and every moment outwardly as we do our work, as we cook our food, as we, as we look into each other's eyes, as we, as we um, 
uh, put the wood chips in the garden mm -hmm. as we paint. As we paint, and uh, I'm gonna uh, finish. Hopefully, finish that painting today. That's gonna be fun. I love it. Uh, you know, when I'm out in the garden working around the Artista del Sol, and I can look over and I can see Robbie on the front patio or hear her in the Artista del Sol, you know, with her art. Um, it's singing. incredibly singing because <laughs> she'll have some music on, you know, and she'll be singing along with the, the voice and with uh, her voice. And by the way, I love your voice. Yeah, you know, like a trumpet. <laughs> it's, it's like a trumpet. It's clear. I'm surprised you didn't go into singing. I you can know. hardly sing in the shower. No, 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 no. You, know, you could have been you could have been a singer in a in a rock band. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Like heart. <laughs> yeah. Backup right. singer for heart. <laughs> Not even backup. No, yeah. you could have been doing the, the front, the, the, the full on, you know, lead singer. She has a great voice. We're driving down the road, uh, you know, and, and, and all these uh, songs come on that she knows so well from when you were in, uh, in you know, hair, mm -hmm. color, and she was in the salons, you know, they were constantly playing, constantly playing the, 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 the music, you know. And so, so I memorized things. She memorized I, so all, all, all of these hate, words. But there's some I really hate, and yet I sing. Well, she sings that most of the words that you sing are, are like mantras. They're actually beautiful. They're the beautiful parts of, of, of songs that might have a downside to them, but she sings the, the glorious you know, <laughs> you know, strains or verses and, uh, and with her clarion voice. Yeah, okay, do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's clarion. It's clarion. You know? And when her voice gets a little bit, when she gets passionate about something, um, her voice gets strong and you can hear it like, you know, <laughs> across, the canyon. across the canyon, just 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 when she's speaking in a normal voice. <laughs> it's kind of like that that laughter that goes all the way across the canyon. Um, and that's 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 another part of the samadhi game. As you get more clear, maybe and, that's why the holly trees are growing because they hear my voice. Oh, that's right, that's right. Listen, they're full of thorns. We have we have holly trees in the front yard, and uh, they're up against the front front wall of Sunny Mellow here. And uh, and I have watered those holly trees, and they froze about three years ago. We had a very, very, very heavy, cold winter, and a lot of the the uh, foliage and around the, the 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 property died and was deadened to a large degree. And these holly holly uh, bushes were largely stunted, and I've been watering them ever since. And very little growth has happened with them. Maybe a little sprig here or there, but hardly anything. This year, the holly bushes are coming back with beautiful green foliage to replace all of the brown foliage that has remained on the plants for the last three years. Hmm. So I'm, I'm really, you know, and maybe it is true. Maybe the sounds that we're making, the, the words that we're speaking, the, the tone that you're carrying, the uh, song that you're singing <laughs> is enlivening uh, some, uh, sunny mellow like never before. So let's go ahead and, and let's sing another mantra. Um, let's let me see here. Let's actually sing this one in English. It's nice. Okay. I bow to the samadhi within myself, known as Lord Shiva, that is the true teacher. This samadhi that I am takes the form of truth, consciousness, and bliss. I am always present and full of peace. I am always present and full of peace. I am always present and full of peace. I am completely free and I sparkle with the divine luster. I bow to the samadhi within myself, known as Lord Shiva that is the true teacher. This samadhi that I am takes the form of truth, consciousness and bliss. I am always present and full of peace. I am always present and full of peace. I am always present and full of peace. I am completely free and I sparkle with the divine luster. We're talking about sparkling on this sparkling spring sensational Sunday. So let's do it again. I bow to the samadhi within myself, known as Lord Shiva that is the true teacher. This samadhi that I am takes the form of truth, consciousness and bliss. I am always present and full of peace. I am always present and full of peace. I am always present and full of peace. I am completely free and I sparkle with the divine luster. I bow to the samadhi within myself, known as Lord Shiva that is the true teacher. This samadhi that I am takes the form of truth, consciousness and bliss. I am always present and full of peace. I am always present and full of peace. I am always present and full of peace. I am completely free and I sparkle with the divine luster. We're never just singing the song. We're never just trying to get through the mantra, although you can. 
if you wake up some mornings and all you can do is just sing the song and get through the mantra, that will help. But as we do the mantras, we can actually begin to become more and more aware of what we're doing, pulling that silence through them until it's sparkling out through our bodies as we give the mantra. The conscious visualization of the sparkle all around us. The more we visualize, the more accurately we see the, uh, the, the tangibility, the tactileness, the feel it. We, we smell it. We can feel it. We can hear it happening. The sparkling is like, you can even hear the sparklers. How does a sparkler sound when it's... I love that. I love it. All around you. And so uh, Samadhi Game gives you the opportunity to really play with the visualizations. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do it again. Let's do something else here. Let's do another mantra. The opening pillar of light, the pillar of the world. Mm -hmm. This is a stabilizing mantra. It's not so sparkly as that song that we just sang, but you'll feel the stabilization in it. Let's go ahead and stabilize our consciousness for the day. Please. <laughs> Sublime I am, Samadhi that I am, enfolding me now in that mighty, magic, electronic pillar of cosmic light substance. My identification with its magnificent humility and thoughtful creativity, so powerful and complete, that I artfully and magically alter every polarity with healing unity. Within this majestic pillar of light, blazes that love as the violet, compassionate flame, in through and around my etheric, mental, emotional, and physical bodies, effortlessly dissolving, consuming, transmuting, and reconciling the dualities of my human ego, charging my world and all eye contact with the tangible substance, living awareness, and conscious activity, the presence and superconscious samadhi of all enlightened beings, liberated and ascended masters, seeing, feeling, and hearing this light as it shines, radiates, and resonates within me as a visible pillar of the world, stabilized, supported, and sustained by the brilliant, elegant one, and infinitely sensitive to that invulnerable state of divine I am samadhi. So I wanted to say, when he puts the names on the bottles... And he puts more, one name, he gets a certain effect. Mm -hmm. You know, you get that, you know, that effect. But when he puts more than one name, if he says love, and then he puts love, 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 and he pastes more loves all over it, it has a more prominent and a quicker mm -hmm. and a more into like dynamic. A it's a kaleidoscope. It's beautiful. A web. Yes, and so when we do these mantras, we do a mantra and then we'll do it again. We have to find that today and post that. Yes, post that. And uh, it's, it's powerful, powerful medicine that we're working with here. And, um, and we can sparkle it more, sparkle it more, sparkle it more, so that our lives are sparkling with light rather than just normal humdrum, mundane, footstool, kingdom, existence. And the rub is... <laughs> What's the rub? The rub is... Don't? The rub is be aware that we're playing with fire. Well, we're we're amplifying look. fire. We're amplifying light. We're amplifying it's like love. It's taking off the emergency brake on a car. That's right. And you can go faster. And you can, you, can, you can expect more dynamic action in your life. You can expect more upheaval, really. There is, you know, a lot of people think that uh, getting onto the spiritual path is all about stabilizing everything. And, Oh, control. finally, control. control. It's all controlled now. I can just sit back and it's all going to be just fine. Okay, good, good. Now it's controlled. It's just the opposite. Getting under the spiritual path means that you were, were able to uh, deal with the f shifts and the changes and the connection revolution in a much more dynamic way than ever before. In fact, I was likening the feminine consciousness this morning to this connection revolution that we're dealing with, this connection where all things are connected our hearts, our souls, the weather around us, the, the, the animals in the yard, the cats you know, pawing at the windows. Everything that we have happening around us is connected to our hearts. The weather, whether it's raining or not raining. By the way, let's put out a prayer for rain, for rain in the southwest, especially in New Mexico right now where, and California where fires are, are cropping up because of drought. It's unbelievable. It's like... The, you, America is cut in half. The left is completely dry. The right is soaked to the gills. So let's draw 
with our, our conscious awareness and the way the Indians do it is they not only call out and pray for rain to come down around them, but they accept the feeling that it's raining right now around them, how good it is to feel as though I am right now standing in rain. I am right now standing in puddles of water all about me. I am presently, without waiting, now wet to the bone. Here in New Mexico, in Tejeras Canyon, New Mexico, and let the rain come, let that rain fall down to complete the vision so that it happens here and now. So we can say that, we can feel it and hope and feel the presence of it now manifest. Ah, how good it is to put your hands out and feel the drops of water all about you. Your head up, you can open your mouth and how your tongue being saturated, your face saturated in the water. How good it is to feel it now. Let's go ahead and give this mantra again. Stabilizing the elemental beings, the elemental forces. Sublime I am, Samadhi that I am, enfolding me now in that mighty, magic, electronic pillar of cosmic light substance. My identification with its magnificent humility and thoughtful creativity, so powerful and complete, that I artfully and magically alter every polarity with healing unity. Within this majestic pillar of light, brazes that love as the violet, compassionate flame, Enter and around my etheric, mental, emotional, and physical bodies, effortlessly dissolving, consuming, transmuting, and reconciling the dualities of my human ego, charging my world and all I contact with the tangible substance, living awareness, and conscious activity, the presence and superconscious samadhi of all enlightened beings, liberated and ascended masters, seeing, feeling, and hearing this light as it shines, radiates, and resonates within me as a visible pillar of the world, stabilized, supported, and sustained by the brilliant, elegant One, and infinitely sensitive to that invulnerable state of divine I am Samadhi. We'll raise our hands up and say the Om before we give the last part of this mantra. Actually, let's, let's hold our hands forward like this and feel the water pouring into us and feel the, the water puddling around our feet as we give this Om. 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 Eternity is my home. I do all. Yes, eternity is my home. Let me get it here. Eternity, eternity is, is my home. home. I, I do all that is necessary to actualize this ever fresh realization and organize my life around it. Eternity is my home. I do all that is necessary to actualize this ever fresh realization and organize my life around it. Eternity is my home. I do all that is necessary to actualize this ever fresh realization and organize my life around it. You know, um, you know, just how we were talking earlier about, you know, putting love, 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 love over the uh, bottle of water and how it amplifies and creates a more dynamic holographic image in that electron micro, micro, micron uh, photography. Um, when more of us come together and give these mantras, it's like amplifying it holographically, you know, uh, with a, a resonance, uh, a, a Fibonacci mm -hmm. uh, dynamic, energetic, uh, exponential resonance. And in June, just in 15 days from now, actually not even that, it's 13 days from now, we're having the eight days of Samadhi meditation here in New Mexico. And several people are coming from all over mm -hmm. to visit with us and to be a part of this uh, meditation. And we're going to do, um, and as all of these people come together, we'll have more voices here in one place at Sunny Mellow. And um, those voices will amplify the resonance of the Samadhi game mantras given. When more people are gathered together, how does Jesus put it? Two uh, when, or three one, are gathered in my name, name, there are you in the midst. In the midst. 
So as we have two or three gathered together, saying the mantras together, there is an amplification that Fibonacci curve starts to fan out around this canyon that Samadhi game is in. It starts to fan out around the entire Ascendia Peak area. It starts to fan out around the entire New Mexico area. It has a more dynamic action. And with more people, it can even get big enough to go into Colorado, uh, to, uh, Oklahoma, Texas, and start to establish a more stabilized weather pattern. Mm. We need that. Yeah. You know, something that we do, too, at, uh, at, at Sunny Mellow is we water. Everything. We water. And I love it. It's beautiful. It's a little oasis here. Um, you'll, I think you'll enjoy coming to um, Sunny Mellow because we have an oasis established for you. We have an orchard to meditate in. We have a Artista del Sol to paint in. We have the lavender field to gather up a few handfuls of lavender from and squeeze it between your hands and meditate, meditate upon the scent as you, as you feel the sunshine warming in your chest. We have, we have um, the vineyard, vineyard, which I believe, I believe should, should be planted in the next week. Next week. Some water and water and um, um, the field of joy, joy, stand in stand yard, the arbor, and the might even my table, 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 but then the end of the arbor, I'm not sure if sure. Jeff will Jeff build, build it or build it and find it. And, um, and um, we have the garden, garden to take some of the vegetables, which I'm sure will be somewhat maturing by then, so we can make some of our food from the garden. And we have a front for from the grassy area where we can do yoga and enjoy uh, the sunshine and the pose. We have the, the back area for those of you who want to sunbathe and buff. Um, it's, it's, yeah, we have an area that is you and the rabbits. Yeah, you and the rabbits. And you know. birds. And uh, so it's like we do have you know a little bit to, to offer here. And what I feel what we do by the watering uh, the area around and keeping Sunny Mellow rich in an oasis field is we're creating a, a um, homeopathic dose to the area, believe it or not, of moisture. And that homeopathic dose of this moisture here in New Mexico will draw more of it to, it, to us, to the entire area. So um, Sunny Mellow is a homeopathic dose of moisture. I just wanted to put that out there because I see it as that. Yeah, actually we have to water too now. And uh, Robbie loves to water. I love to see her watering. Uh, she has a, uh, she holds the hose up <laughs> and waters all her plants very delicately. They require delicacy. Sometimes the plants do require delicacy, and other times they require a downpour, That's what a you gush. Do. He has no mercy. <laughs> <Shoo! It's> like, <laughs> you think, where's the fire? Our Sunny Mellow is located on a road called um, Camino Primera Agua, which means the, the road of the first water, the best or the best, the premier, the, the, the best, the highest water. And here in New Mexico, water is a premium. And this road is the reason they named the road this is because it has a beautiful stream of water underneath it, which has very clear, pure water. And the well that we have, uh, uh, fortunately, is a very good one. We get a tremendous flow of water from it. And uh, if, we, if, we, if we adjudicate our use of the well over a period of time during the day, it will reju rejuvenate itself beautifully day by day. And actually taking water from the well actually makes the well better. And well, we're taking, that's good. And we're taking, that's what we do. And that's what we're doing. And we're taking water from the well that it was, was stocked many thousands of years ago. Wow. So we have a beautiful, beautiful source of water underneath Sunny Mellow, which is impervious to the, the vagaries of drought and in New Mexico. It's mm -hmm. still going to have water for wow. many, many hundreds of blessing. years. It's a blessing. So let's go on, give one more mantra, and then call it quits for this impromptu Sunday. Let's give a... Um, Let's give the, uh, I want to have the, um, this one here down farther, radiant circle. Let's put a circle, a radiant, sparkling yeah. circle of healing love and the art of life and liquid white light. Uh, that I am that never sleeps. That, exactly. That silence. Speaks to us and brings us into the Tantra of Enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Radiant, Radiant circle, circle of healing love, love and the art of life and liquid white light. Encircle, encircle me now, encircle me now, encircle me now. I am this loving splendor encircling me now. 
I am this living prana chi encircling me now. I am this liquid crystal fire encircling me now. I am this samadhi encircling me now. This I radiate, radiate, radiate. As the active intelligence of powerful conscious volition, that I am. I govern this exhaustless energy and precipitate all things into form. Of those who come under the radiation of this, my radiant circle of healing love and the art of life and liquid white light, including, and here we can include all of those who will join us on this impromptu Sunday spring, sensational spring Sunday impromptu broadcast of Samadhi Game, all of those who will ever join us in the archived versions. We can include our families, the Frank family, the Brinkley family, all of my sister Christy Brinkley and her children, Jack Sailors and Alexa. We can include all of your nephews and nieces and, and cousins mm -hmm. and all of the people we met at the Jersey on mm -hmm. the Jersey Shore recently. Um, I can't even remember all their names. All of your sisters and I know, your I brothers, need, I, I your need mother and father. You, you really do in order There's to, to rattle them. them off, you know. And uh, all of those who are part of the Samadhi Game tribe, mm -hmm. all of those, including Barbara and Jamie and Linda and Kathleen, Kathleen and um, uh, Arthur and anyone who ever makes a comment yeah. about Samadhi Game, whoever mm -hmm. listens in, uh, Gregory Vahanian, great master Gregory Vahanian. And to all of that, all of these people, we give this, this healing, this art and life of liquid white light surrounding them now as a radiant circle, a sparkling Sunday sensational spring impromptu day. I ignite and I expand the illuminating center within their bodies and motions and minds into that active, perfect and eternal garment of enlightenment. O oh, radiant circle of healing and love and the art of life and liquid white light, that I am, instantly bring healing to and make art of all dual human ego in my world, opening wide the door of my heart to the ineffable, divine and present existence and expression and expansion. I am the wide open door of my heart, flooding forth the radiant circle of healing love and the art of life and liquid white light, the enchanting essence of my electronic body and I am Samadhi. I balance, blaze, and dazzle the threefold activity of my heart's samadhi. And oh, but in love, wisdom, and power encircles me, now and forever bringing healing to and making art of every dual human ego activity, freeing me to leap into divine union with the source of these, the shining three. I am the mighty, magic, electromagnetic circle of invincible liquid love light and life substance, instantly transmuting and harmonizing, healing and making art of every discordance or distraction which seeks to enter or intrude itself, masquerading as the I am me. I am the self-sustaining perfection of my world, enfolded in the radiant circle of healing love and the art of life and liquid white light. The samadhi that I am, I remain, vanish the veils of light and shade. I abide in the shining truth of divine law and the justice of eternity. I am the lake of kindness, free of disturbing conditions, inner and outer. And as we say the Om, feel that silence reverberating from the core of your being out into the world of your daily activities. Om, into my relationships, into my family, into my home. Om, into Sunny Mellow, into Tejeras Canyon, into New Mexico, and all of the elementals there, thereof. Om, into Samadhi Game Tribe, and all of the members thereof. I am commanding all therapies within this, the inner magic of my radiant circle of healing love, to be revealed with the art of life and liquid white light of Samadhi, the all-pervading, serene, and harmonizing bliss. I actually would like to give a mantra from this here. Just the top mantra before we end this sustained enlightenment. From billowing clouds in the spotless sky of the tangible I am Samadhi, that I am comes now a downpour of the memory and momentum of the golden river of sustained enlightenment 
and divine direction, a drenching of mastery and dominion here and now, rivulets of wise thinking, lovely feeling, and powerful activity, converging is the eternal sweep of the sacred Ganga, the memory and momentum of love, wisdom, and power, flooding forth like a million Niagara Falls, ceaselessly descending into and around all my thoughts, feelings, and activities, including uh, the activity of all elementals in New Mexico, converging, finding a way to feel the blessing of rain, feeling the blessing of rain now, all about you, feeling the coalescence of moisture in the air from the Gulf of Mexico, now manifest in droplets, creating rivulets, creating rivers as big as Ganga, creating Niagara Falls of water all over New Mexico, including the western and the eastern plains, to harmonize and perfect them now, as Christos, as Krishna, as Buddha, as Allah, as Pharaoh, as Monarch, as the Divine Mother, Father, as the Sun Conscious Neutral Witness Awareness, I enter this golden river of sustained enlightenment and divine direction, here and now, bathing in the streaming memory and momentum of love, life, and light. I just have to stop for a moment and tell you a story. Okay. Bathing in the streaming mem mem memory and momentum. I used to own a store on Central Boulevard here, right across from the University of New Mexico, called 20 Carats Natural Foods. And uh, it was right on Central Avenue. And there was like a little bit of a raise off of you. There was, this, there was Central, there was the curb, and then there was a sidewalk. And then there was like a little, a little incline upwards to the door of, of 20 Carats. And on either side of the incline, there were benches that I had built where people would come and take their food and sit out in front of the store and watch the, the traffic go by on, mm -hmm. on Central Avenue. And um, one summer day in New Mexico, we, I was out on that, cleaning the tables off, looking down the street, down central to downtown New Albuquerque, and I could see this huge, round, thundering circle of clouds coming through the downtown area and a wind blowing dust underneath it as the rain was pushing down the air and pushing the air around. It was creating a huge storm. It was huge. You could see it was going to be a, a real, you know, gully washer. <laughs> And so, you know, we all, you know, I asked my client, all my customers at the time if they'd like to come inside because I could see it was going to get rainy and thundery and lightning-y. And they did. And, it came, and that thing moved up Central Avenue. You could see it coming up the avenue towards us. As it came, you could see the sheets of water coming out of the clouds, which were blue-green as they circled above the storm. Mm. You could almost do you reach up and touch them. It was, mm. it was so thick. And they started letting down a downpour, and that moved all the way up central and across the university, which was across the street. And the downpour became so intense, the water off the, 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 the um, uh, roofs of the university were, was like, was like waterfalls, like Niagara Falls. It was like sheets just pouring off, <laughs> off the top, of, off of, the top of, of 20 carats. It was like sheets. Wow. It was coming down. The, it became deeper and deeper down Central Avenue until the cars were stalled on the street up and the water was up to their, almost up to their windows, coming wow. down and almost carrying cars away. It was rushing wow. down Central Avenue. Wow. And um, it was so dramatic. It was so amazing that my friend and I, uh, at the time, his name was David Miggs. He and I, we were wearing shorts because it was summer. We just took off our shirts. We walked out the door <laughs> and we started swimming down, down Route 66, Route 66. <laughs> bathing in the streaming memory and momentum of love, light, and life. <laughs> we were bathing. We were at, literally we were swimming by. I was doing. I remember doing the backstroke <laughs> along with the current. It was coming down Central pretty strong. We were, I was oh, and we were going pretty fast. I was going down the street and I was like, as I'd go by a car, Hi. I'd wave. <laughs> anyway, it was funny. It was quite an amazing event, you know. So. You know, uh, feeling all that water, all those puddles, and on the university fields, there, you know how universities have these beautiful grassy mm -hmm. areas, you know, and trees growing, and, you know, in between the buildings. University of New Mexico had this beautiful, uh, uh, well, all the sheets coming off the, the tops of the buildings was creating these ponds, literally ponds, little lakes were, were being formed deep enough 
that you could actually dive into them. Holy Moses! I'm not kidding you. So Kids we would are... we would we would we would took running across the you know this grassy area as fast as we could, and then take dives, and then not shallow dives, you know yeah. shallow dives, and yeah. we'd hit the water on our bellies. Yeah. Whoo, and, sl- <laughs> and you know, across the lakes, these beautiful lakes. Anyway, it's it was like a, wa- you're a water boy. You love water. I love and, water. And and finally, and, in New Mexico, and in New the Mexico. desert. Here it comes. High desert. Here it comes. I mean, it's <laughs> exciting, you know. So, so I share that memory because of this memory and momentum of sustained love, life, and light. Yes. Let's all use that memory that we have of times of water in our lives. That beautiful, beautiful water. Let me just get rid of the screen here so we can see more clearly. Everything that's happening. There. Let's keep going. Bathing in the streaming memory and momentum of love, life, and light. I take command of all thoughts, feelings, and actions. But oh, the highlands of Supercata's living in awareness. Lo, Lo, I I am become the sea of mirth itself. Lo, I am become the sea of mirth itself. Lo, I am become the sea of mirth itself. Oh, loving I am Samadhi that I am. Oh, Ganesha, oh, great divine divine director director and the great great karmic karmic board that that I am. I I invoke your memory and momentum of sustained enlightenment and divine divine direction. I I am am that guidance now. That that courage and strength strength that acts. acts. And in my attention to my and men with me, women with Robbie, Purpose, love, plan, love, focus, fullness, freedom, dharma, and life. death. And when we do that, we establish a beautiful dynamic action of positive and negative uh, uh, polarities, which can swirl as this mighty thunderstorm of, of water that will descend upon New Mexico and all places where, which need water now. I hold, hold my, my scepter, scepter of dominion, dominion and power sustained. From the joyous I am Samadhi that I am, I descend in the whirlwind radiance of this Christos, Krishna, Buddha, Allah, Pharaoh, Monarch, Divine Mother, Father, Sun Conscious Awareness. I envelop my four lower bodies with the unbroken thrill of that neutral witness and unique sexual essence. And I stand guard over my entire consciousness, being, and world 24-7. O eternal I am Samadhi, Beyond all imagination, imagination of expectancy. I charge my physical, emotional, mental, and etheric bodies with that memory and momentum of full conscious realization as I issue the following command to all the polarized human creation and ego etched in my pranas, chakras, and meridians and those of the entire planetary body. And how does water, what does water do? It dissolve, consume, transmute, and reconcile by the vital light of samadhi. Dissolve, consume, transmute, and reconcile by the vital light of samadhi. Dissolve, consume, transmute, and reconcile by the vital light of samadhi. I let the instantaneous release of the self-luminous, infinitely light substance issue forth as a downpour without limit from the immortal samadhi that I remember I am. And I charge these pranas, chakras, and meridians Thoughts, Thoughts feelings, activities, activities, and environment with a victorious memory and momentum of the golden river of sustained enlightenment and divine direction, such that all polarized human creation and ego is instantly transmuted and transfigured into refined and perfected states of awareness, action, and physicality. Om. Om. feeling for a moment the silence of that that Ronnie taught us. You might also be able to feel the chill on your skin because it's wet. You might always also be able to feel how your clothes are 
tight and sticking to your body because they're wet. You might be able to feel how your hair is flat against your skull and streaming over your forehead to your eyes because it's wet. And it feels so good. How good it is, how good it is, how good it is. Well, thank you for joining us on this impromptu broadcast of Samadhi Game. Join us on Mondays and Wednesdays for our regular broadcast at 7 o'clock for the music meditation and 8.30 for the beginning of the mantras and the show that we present. And uh, try to make your reservations now for the eight days of Samadhi meditation here at Sunny Mellow, which by the time you get here will be wet, as it is now already. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a great day.